This tutorial will demonstrate how a quick and easy way how to burn the QuickTime movie file onto a CD. There are multiple ways of burning CDs and a variety of different softwares that will do it. Uh, this is just a quick and easy way that, that it can be done. Now when you insert your blank CD, uh, you'll typically get some type of CD drive menu that will come up asking you what you would like to do with this. Uh, here for example is a software power to go there's Nero, there's all kinds of different softwares uh, that you may have used in the past to burn CDs and those will come up. I typically will just cancel this and the quick and easy way that I do it is first of all I open up the folder of the file that I want. Remember in the last tutorial we exported a .mov file onto my desktop, this folder right here, and here's the file that I want to burn on a CD. So now I'll go to my computer and open up my computer. There you'll see my D drive is the CD drive. Yours may be E or another letter, that's okay and double click that. So here's my blank CD. Now when dealing with CDs I sometimes get asked the question well what type of CD do I use? Well there's all kinds of there's different types of CDs and even DVDs that can be used. Uh, here you can see very quickly uh, there's basically two different types of CDs, a CDR or CDRW. Uh, basically the W uh, means that it has the ability to be rewritten upon and so um, in theory you could write it over and over again whereas with the CDR once you burn it and it's done then you're done you can't do anything else with that. Typically I'll recommend just using a CDR. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan but I, and I haven't used a lot of the CDRWs because you have to deal with finalizing it and this and that and, and for me it just gets messy and so for as cheap as CDs are I usually just pick a CDR and just burn it the one time and then I'm done with that CD. Um, then I don't have to mess with finalizing and so forth because if you burn it with a CDRW and you don't finalize it um, it may or may not play when you send it to me. Uh, you also have the option to burn to a DVD. Uh, DVD, not only do you have the R and RW option, which is the same as with the CD, but you also have a plus or minus. So there's actually four different types of DVDs that you can get to burn. And I'm, I'm, I don't have a DVD burner, burner, so I don't use them a lot, and it's been a few years since I burned it. Uh, but there's different options and in different applications. Once again, I'll typically, if I am going to do it, I would just use the R and not the RW. And whether you use plus or minus at this point, it should not matter. But just know there is a difference. And uh, the only thing you want to make sure is on your particular DVD burner uh, that you can do both. Most modern day burners will handle um, all four of these. Uh, early models may only have, have burned the DVD plus R um, or the minus R, one or the other. But now you should be able to do both. Uh, in, in simplest terms, I'd recommend just use a CDR. In that case, we have our blank CD right here. And so all I'm going to do is simply take my movie file, drag it over to my CD. It's going to, you'll see it here, files ready to be written onto the CD. Then I'll just do simply a file and write these files to CD. That will bring up the CD writing wizard. Uh, you can put your name here. You can just leave it the date. It doesn't matter. Hit next. And it's going to begin burning that CD. And that's all there is to it. It's a very simple and quick way to do it. Just put your CD in, open up your CD, uh, open up your window with the file that you want to burn, copy it over, and then simply file, write these files to CD, and that's it. One other quick note that I'd like to add in terms of burning a CD and mailing it to me for this project is first of all, make sure that you burn the .mov file. Uh, it's, it's an easy it's easy to get mixed up or confused and want to burn this Camtasia recording file or even more so the project file that you have created when you edited your uh, your project. Let me see if I can find it. Here's, the, here's an example of a project file, a Camtasia project. Here's a recording file. Uh, I don't want either one of those. Um, if you send me the camp, just the, simply the Camtasia project file, I cannot see it. Um, there's a chance I'll be able to see the recording file, but I definitely won't be able to see the Camtasia project. If that's what you send me, it will not work. So you need to make sure that you send me the exported .movie file. And the last thing I want to know is uh, make sure you test your CD before you mail it into me. And I would recommend go ahead and find another computer and go ahead and test it because just for some reason maybe um, it works fine on your computer but it won't on others for multiple of reasons. Uh, but that's the, the, the most fail-safe way is to uh, go ahead and pull out the CD, 
go put it in a completely different computer, test it, and that should verify that it's working, and then go ahead and mail it to me.